Assalamu alaikum guys, Ramadan Mubarak. I hope everybody's having a great start to this beautiful, blessed month of Ramadan. I'm praying for all of you guys. I hope you guys are in good health. I hope you guys are able to fast. I hope you guys get all the benefits within this month because this is a beautiful month. We need to cherish this month. Take this opportunity and hold it tight, guys. Ramadan only comes once a year. You do not want to lose this month. You do not want to lose this opportunity of being forgiven for all the sins we have been committing for 11 months. 11 months, y'all. We have this one month to be cleansed. Take advantage and use it wisely. Anyways, we are a bit late with the Ramadan vlogs this year. This is day four of fasting, but this is going to be my Ramadan vlog one because the first three days I was on a trip. I went to Kansas City for a convention that was hosted by an organization on campus. I did try to record and vlog while I was on that convention because I wanted to do 30 days of vlogging during Ramadan and I really tried hard for you guys, guys, but it was just very hard. It was very hard. I attempted the first day and I'm gonna include that in this video because I do want y'all to see a little bit of what I was doing, even though I didn't want to record the convention much, it was just me talking, but I'm gonna add it in there to this vlog so you guys can see that aspect of it. And then we're gonna move on to Ramadan vlog on campus because this is my first time fasting on campus. So I wanna see how today goes for me too. And I'm sure you guys want to as well. So this video might be long, but I was told you guys actually want the Ramadan vlogs to be long. So that's not a problem. That's not a problem because technically this can be like 30 minutes and it shouldn't be a problem because it's an episode. So coming up, convention, and then into today. All right, convention, right up. It's Ramadan Mubarak, Lakul Muslim, Sharul Nazifiha, Yunazil Al Quran. Happy Ramadan to all Muslims of the Quran descent in this holy month. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video and we are back with the Ramadan vlogs. I told y'all months ago that I will be back and better with the Ramadan vlogs. Today's Wednesday, Ramadan starts on Thursday. Today's the 22nd, Ramadan starts on the 23rd and I'm very happy. I'm also in a hotel room as you can see because I'm in Kansas City, Missouri for a convention. It's a work convention. I'm trying to land an internship because unfortunately I'm a junior, so my chances of getting an actual job here are very slim. But I want to leave with a good internship that pays well, that prepares me for life after college, basically. And I'm here to network, I'm here to connect, I'm here to meet new people, I'm here to put myself out there. I'm just here for the experience. I'm very excited for this convention. I'm missing a whole week of school, guys. Who wouldn't, who, who wouldn't want that? A whole week of school. I don't have to be in class. I'm sleeping on a hotel bed, a freshly made hotel bed, and not a twin gel bed on campus. Come on, come on, let's be real. I just got some food. <laughs> I got some chicken and waffles. I went to a restaurant that's like five minute walk from our hotel. I'm talking so much in this intro, I'm not even sure if I explained what I'm doing in Kansas. If I already did, perfect. If I didn't, I'll explain again. I'm here with NSB, which stands for National Society Black Engineers. I'm not a STEM major. I'm certainly not an engineering major. I'm a communications major, but I'm here to find a man who's in majoring in engineering. Who knows? Maybe this one here who will be the bread maker in the family while I chill at home and live a lavish life. You know, I go, I wake up, Maybe I'll make him some breakfast, take the kids out for a walk, go do some Pilates, meet the girls for lunch, then do some shopping, then buy some Starbucks, then get something to eat, and then come back and have him tell me how his day was, and maybe cook him a meal at the end. That's the life I want. I want a peace, easy, enjoyable life. That's what I desire. That's what I deserve. So who knows, maybe I will find my engineering, a man who's majoring in engineering. My engineering majoring husband or my engineer major husband. 
I don't even know how that wording would work. But yeah, I'm very excited. Let me eat because I feel like I still have more to say, but I'll see it y'all as I eat. That's fair, that's fair. Let's do this. Chicken and waffles. Let me flip the camera and show y'all. One sec. So they gave me tater tarts on the side. I did not know it came with it, but I'm very happy about that. This is my chicken and waffles. Mm -mm -mm. I actually cannot wait to eat, y'all. I'm starving. And I got some Shirley Temple on the side. Have y'all made Ramadan goals, guys? Because usually I make a Ramadan goal every year. But this year, I have not made a list of goals I have for this Ramadan. Literally, I don't know how I feel about that. If you guys have any goals, comment them down below. I would love to hear them. Maybe your goals will inspire my goals and give me a list. I could use your list as mine. I'm kidding, but maybe it might like, make me think of something I haven't thought of. Maybe I should do that too, type of thing, you know? So if you guys have any goals, don't be greedy. Share your goals. Comment it down below. I want this Ramadan vlog to be very interactive. I know y'all love me. I love y'all back, but... Sometimes they don't be commenting and I'm like, damn, like, how am I supposed to know what y'all like and don't if y'all don't comment? Like, if y'all really mess with the video heavy, comment it down below. Like, this was a great video. You should do more. Hey, I will not complain about that. If there's something I do and you don't like, hey, like, I know you're trying out new things, but maybe this kind of content is not meant for you. So, stay away from it. I won't be mad at y'all. I'll be like, thank you. So... I don't know. Let me know, man. It's looking kind of hard. I, I wish it was um, fluffy. I don't know how I'm, I'm going to talk and eat. But. This is my first meal since like yesterday at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. yesterday, and right now it's 12 p.m. the next day, so I'm hungry. I, I was eating snacks in between, but snacks is, is not a meal. Snacks is not a meal. Since we're already here, let me show y'all around. Let me give y'all a mini room tour. I'm gonna give y'all a mini, mini room tour. And our view is not grand, but it's something, you feel me? But let's start with the room. Let me flip the camera. So, this is the beds, obviously. Duh. We have a big TV here, my bootleg. Feets, bro. I call them feets because they're not beats. <laughs> I'm so funny. And then we have, oh, they gave us robes, y'all. We have this comfy robes. Get with it, get with it, get with it. Get with it, get with it, get with it. Yeah, look at the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. Let's, let's talk about the bathroom. It's given fancy, it's given expensive. The shower, very clear. The toilet, me looking very bummy. This was my airport fit. I look mad crazy. And I went to that restaurant looking like this. That's, that's another reason why I didn't wanna eat out. Look at how I look. Look at what I'm wearing. Why would I ever go to a restaurant and eat out? where people are dressed good and I look like this, please, y'all know I can dress, but when, like, even to the airport, usually I, I will dress, but today I just didn't feel like dressing up, no cab. We left campus at like 2 a.m. Who was dressing up at 2 a.m.? But this is our view. I like this side, but I wish our room was like, our room window was facing here. Those, those buildings look way better than what we got going on, but... And that's that and then here we got the road and then there's these ugly buildings yuck <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nah, but like, what is this? The lady was like, oh my god, I'm gonna give you guys the best view. Girl. 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 Why would you ever lie like that? She should have given us a room towards there. That's a good view. But at night, it's gonna look probably better. Who knows? And my food that I was eating very fast in the video. And I barely made a dent. Actually, I did. I ate like one half of it. But right, I'm gonna finish eating. This is the room tour. The room tour. Let me show y'all the hallway. I don't really need to, but <laughs> why not? Hopefully, there's nobody there because I'll stop recording real fast. Yep. 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 All right, let me finish eating for real and I'm gonna catch y'all later. As can see i look better than i did yesterday because i actually did a little bit of makeup i did mascara i filled in my brows lip gloss and for outfit i got a suit on i'm feeling like a like a true businesswoman today i feel like a woman with purpose a woman with a goal a woman who knows what she wants you know i'm starting my day a bit late because my night was kind of long i went to bed at like one o'clock woke up at five ate suhur prayed fajr Went back to sleep, woke up at like 9, 10, and then I realized, hmm, do I really want to leave this room without praying to her first? So I was like, okay, let me go back to sleep for like an hour and 30 minutes, wake up, take a shower, pray to her, and then start my day and go and talk to these companies and advertise myself in hopes of securing a job or an internship. So that's what we're doing. Me and my roommate, we're going to the convention. We're going to try to advertise ourselves, come back, hopefully by then. I might have to pray outside there, so I should take my prayer mat. Give me one second. I'm going to take my prayer mat. I'm so upset I don't have my tripod, guys, because I have to hold my phone with, like, a water bottle, with a pillow. Just random things. With the tripod, I could just sit it right there, and it would have been long and nice. But, hey, so this is the bag. They gave it to us last night. I like it. I have my resume in here so far. A book for notes. Some pens and pencils and some wipes now i'm gonna put my prayer mat in there i prayed to her i was gonna record me praying to her but i was like hmm, i'm not gonna be talking what's the point but my prayer mat is so cute hold on it looks big on camera but it's actually not that big it's very small i've had it for like two years now it's my traveling prayer mat because it's very small i know it looks big on camera but it's actually very small and very convenient for traveling so my traveling prayer mat. All right, so now that y'all seen the convention a little bit, I hope that kind of was fun <laughs> because 
it was just me talking it was just me talking and i did give a room tour because our hotel room was actually pretty nice so i hope that was enjoyable but now let's get into my day let's get into my day let's get into fasting on campus maybe we can meet some friends of mine maybe we can pray together break our fast together who knows who knows let's get into fasting on campus Y'all, the hunt I just had to go through to find a room to pray in is crazy. I have class at 1 o'clock. I was going to tell my professor I have to go pray, but she wasn't even in class, so I had to leave because Dubru today is at 12.50 and my class starts at 1 o'clock. I'm like, I'm not about to pray afterwards. I'm going to just get it over with. I left my bag in the class to let her know that I was in class and I stepped out. Hopefully, she knows, but let's pray because... We're not missing prayers. We're not delaying prayers. We're going to pray on time. Ramadan is to fix bad habits. It's to start new habits. So we're not about to delay in prayers. I'm going to find a place to position my phone so I can record like five seconds of me praying and just insert it in there for y'all. But this room is it's a classroom. There's not much to it. The direction I'm facing is right here. So... So if you got a man's, you can't like talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> For Ramadan, you can't talk to niggas, bro. That's not the reason why, Debbie. Oh, like why would he assume I don't want to give him a hug because I have a man. <laughs> Another classroom to pray in. I had to leave a lecture class, guys, to come pray because the aid then came on while I was in class. And like I said, we're not missing any prayers, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. I'm so proud of myself today, guys. Like, actually, I have an abaya on. I'm wearing an abaya on campus. Yeah, I don't think I understand how big of a deal that is to me because if you guys know, if you've been here with me since day one, you know, gang. But um, I started wearing my hijab officially on campus last year and I'm still kind of getting accustomed to wearing it on campus. So wearing an abaya, this is my first time wearing a buy on campus, just to put it out there. So that's a big deal. A Islamic dressing, like people see this and they know, oh, she Muslim, Muslim, you know, and I'm wearing that on campus proudly. I felt so beautiful. I felt comfortable. I felt liberated. I felt untouchable. Like it's the feeling of modesty is one that can top nothing in this world. Like. But yeah, today has just been a good day overall. I'm wearing a bio to class. I'm gonna keep repeating that. I wore a bio to class. That's a big deal to me personally. I prayed all my prayers on time because I do have a bad habit of like delaying prayers, not even purposely, but if I'm doing something, I always like to finish what I'm doing before I pray, which is terrible. It's terrible. I'm not doing it purposely. It's just this bad habit that I formed. But this Ramadan, I wanna correct all bad habits. I wanna form new habits that are good so praying on time is one of them i'm proud i did that today i stepped out of classes to go pray guys i stepped out of my lecture halls to go pray i walked into classes late because i was praying that's a big deal that's a big deal and i have one more hour left today has been pretty easy i don't feel hungry i don't feel lazy i don't feel down i actually have a lot of energy i feel like i could go like 10 more hours just saying so i feel really good i'll see y'all for iftar because we're gonna be breaking it together on camera because y'all been fasting with me my husband will see me break it so 
Yeah, one more time for that value. Y'all not gonna believe what just happened to me. I'm actually sick to my stomach. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying not to get emotional because like I said in the previous clip, I had a good day today. I had a good day of fasting today. And my fast just got broken, guys. I got my period eight hour before I officially broke the fast. So today's fast will not be counting for me. I basically fasted. I shouldn't say fasted for nothing. I did pray. Today was a good day regardless. But it's just very upsetting that an hour before my period decides to come. You couldn't come earlier in the day. Maybe while Dunkin' Donuts was still open. I don't know. I don't know. My school Dunkin's closes at 4 o'clock. Y'all know I love my Dunkin's. If you've been here for a while now, you know how much I love my Dunkin's. Our school Dunkin's closes at 4 p.m. My period came at 6 something p.m. The least you could have done was come at least 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, even 3.50. I still could have made it. But you come after Dunkin's is closed. You come when I have an hour left. You made me waste my day. Like, I was walking back to my room about to get emotional. Like, literally, my eyes were getting watery because I was so happy about today. And now it just feels like... It's not, my fast is not getting counted. So, <sighs> but we can't complain. We can't complain. This is God's doing. Okay, I knew it was coming this week. I knew that I just didn't expect it to come today of all days and to come at the time that it did. But it's okay. At least I can eat now. At least I won't be starving. At least I can <sighs> eat. Okay, at least I can eat. That's that's a blessing within. There's people, men, sorry, gentlemen, but there's men who probably would love to get their periods during Ramadan, and I just got my period during Ramadan, and I can eat while everybody else is fasting. So that's a blessing within. I'm happy about that. I'm just sad about the time that it came. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Let me look at my order to make sure she got it right for pumps break. Okay. It don't look like the way it usually be looking. Uh, I'll wait for yours so we can do a toast. And can we go to Dunkin' so I could do a sandwich from yeah. there? I got a venti iced caramel macchiato, four pumps of white mocha, and extra caramel drizzle iced. I think it's light ice, I'm not sure. Mm, no, nah, I did not say light ice. It's definitely not light ice. But... Someone say back to me. Hello? Hello? Say bye. Tell them, tell them how, how Ramadan has been for you. How you doing, guys? Very rough. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> like, he actually been fasting. Like for real, I'm so proud of my friends. Except my girl, my guy friends have been fasting. I didn't, not, I didn't eat until now. My I didn't eat until now. <laughs> uh, don't lie. I didn't eat until now. You YouTube, don't lie. Did I lie? Did I eat today? You just, you just, <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> she don't even know. Oh, I have some chips. I eat tomorrow. I'll start again tomorrow. <laughs> They're not serious people. <laughs> but guys, I'll see y'all in tomorrow's vlog. My fast got broken today, so today don't count. I'm not fasting tomorrow. The day after, this four days, huh? I didn't break it. I oh, you can't fast when you get your period, huh? <sighs> Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow. That means I'm on my period too, so I don't have to fast. <laughs> <laughs> you can pass with the boys. <laughs> they always leave me hanging. Let's see. Bye. I'll see you on tomorrow's vlog. Say bye, guys. Bye. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Wait. Wait. Bye.